Yeah. It's moving day. Woo! Look what we did last night. Gosh dang. Now it's time to clean up so we can move our stuff in here. And now we're all cleaned up. Yay! What's next? Putting up those walls. Let's get them in. Looks so pretty. Ooh. I feel like I'm in a kid's playhouse with these wires hanging everywhere. <laughs> oh, it looks fabulous. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Yay! Looks great. Farewell, on to our next destination, OMG. He's going two miles an hour, baby. Ugh. I don't know what his deal is. <sighs> Me. what do you think of our first night? Hey, Mew. Mew. I don't know about this, Mew. Hmm. She's the best. I just wanted you guys to see the face of what it looks like the morning after you wake up. 
after you moved out of a house into a bus that may not be done yet. And I need to make some room in my car because this is not safe to drive like this either. So that will be a goal of mine today is to empty some of this into the bus or something. I don't know. I gotta go through it. So let's do that. I just got this solar generator in the mail and I love it already. This thing, does so much for the price. It has USB plug-in to charge USB products like your phone. It has two lights on it, a radio and three light bulbs. And you can charge it electronically if you're in a place where you have electricity. And then if you're not, then obviously it charges with the sun. And for everything that it does, I'm telling you, the price is amazing. You'll have to look it up on Amazon, but this is what it is. It's like $68. That's nothing for everything that it does. I can't wait to show you guys later. While the boys work on the bus, I saw a bus over here that I had to go exploring. Oh my, Landa! My husband says it was a food truck. What do you guys think? Oh, it's a provost. How pretty. I love the door so much. This doesn't look like it was a food truck. Pretty cool. Old school for sure. What is that right there? What do you think? That's very strange. The electrician it is no joke. If you're gonna just have a couple, if you're gonna have a couple outlets or a couple switches, that's fine. Like, it's gonna be easy peasy. If you're gonna do an HVAC system, you want light switches, you want about 10 to 20 lights, uh, like we are doing, and you want this done correctly, professionally. A lot of communicating with your electrician. So when you're out getting it, finding somebody and bidding, so having a couple people bid for the job, make sure you mesh well with that electrician. At the end of the day, they need to be ready to know what's going on like we use 40 nail plates to cover up all the spots where the wires are running through so we can't drill holes into the wires or our tubing for our uh, AC split or anything like that I mean uh, that was something I never took into consideration we're got to go get a ground bar kit now for the dashboard panel we bought like I've had to do errands getting the I mean it's just not cheap if yeah <laughs> And if you're, and again, if you're hiring a professional, it isn't like you can say, okay, this is what I want here, here, and there. One of you is going to have to hang out around and be around for the project because there's too many questions. There's a lot of questions being asked.
Hey, Mr. Grumpy Gills. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim.